What is up, YouTube? Gunigan here, back out with another My League off-season rebuild, and I feel like I don't give enough love to the Orlando Magic, so we're gonna do an off-season rebuild of the Orlando Magic. Now, obviously, Orlando, uh, in real life, I, they don't have a lot going for them. In my opinion, they really don't. Obviously, Victor Lodipo is gone. They still have Evan Fournier. They have Aaron Gordon. They have Nikola Vucevic. They have Alfred Payton, who was kind of balling at the end of the season. Maybe he can develop very nicely into the following season, but that guy could put up triple doubles here and there. Um, he just needs to work on his shot. He gets a cons consistent shot, and he'll be a threat. He is a good ball player. Ersan Ilyasova as well, not on the team. I don't even know about Dwayne Dedman. Mario Hezonia, still young. Don't know how great he's going to improve um, in real life is what I'm talking about right now. Jason Smith, I don't know. I don't even know who is on the team still in real life. Obviously, this is the team in the offseason. We're going to see what we can do, what we can come up with, and to try to make this team just into a playoff team into a contender in in a year and we got we gotta we gotta move forward obviously the goal is to always win a championship but with these teams it's difficult especially in one year draft lottery uh we're obviously gonna skip weight we're 35 and 47 we should we're 11th in the conference we're gonna have a very mediocre pick so whatever let's just skip through it hopefully we landed a good one and let's go sign the best staff possible we're obviously we're gonna move up in the um uh, in the in the uh, uh, draft, we have the eleven. We have the eleventh pick, uh, second round eleventh pick, second round seventeenth pick, and then a quite a bit of other picks in the future. So we have we have room to move up. We have room to move up from eleven. Eleven is a great great starting spot. But I'm gonna go sign the best staff possible, and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna so hopefully draft one of the top dogs in the 2016 NBA draft. We're in the draft now. I could only move our 11th pick up to the eighth pick. Uh, we don't have players on contract at the moment, so we might use it to draft somebody. I don't think so at the same time, though. Uh, I did put in the pick first, and DeAndre Jordan popped up, so then I put in Nikola instead. And DeAndre still pops up, so Vucevic is going to leave. We're getting DeAndre Jordan. We have a ridiculous amount of cap space. DeAndre, obviously, five overall points better. A better defender, better rebounder, I believe. We're going to take DeAndre Jordan, and then we're going to see what we can get for the eighth pick because we only have these two on contract right now until we accept the qualifying offers and all of that, the rookie-scale contracts. Now we're going to see what we can get for the eighth pick. We still have a lot of cap space, but we also got to be careful of taking in uh, too much money and then ruining our free agency like Jeff Teague off the bench this would be kind of nice we don't want Tiago splitter though so maybe we could throw in someone in there for a couple of players still Jeff Teague and somebody else that would be nice Derek Favors is an 85 overall they would want a 2017 pick uh, I don't think I could find anything better in this draft don't want Tyson Chandler I'm gonna see if I can get something else besides Tyson how much money in cap would we still have Let's see, we have currently 69 million in cap. Uh, he's making 14 million, so I, I have no problem taking two big contracts in, just not Tyson Chandler at a 74 overall. No thank you. Let's just throw in Brandon Knight, take that out, and they still don't like it. I'll throw in Hizonia. I have no issues throwing in Hizonia. Sorry, bro. They have agreed. Obviously, he's a younger guy. He's a younger stud. We get two guards in return. Uh, veterans and we can now get out of this because we don't have anything else to trade besides the second rounder we can't trade that let's just see what we nothing nothing for a second rounder but we have two nice guards and then we still have um what's his face uh, um uh, the guard that they they have now what uh, alfred payton don't know why i couldn't come up with his name alfred payton we still have him uh, so do we trade him maybe team player options of course we're gonna accept victor Lodipo, aaron gordon alfred payton so for eight mil no thank you and well, yeah we're gonna accept these guys i doubt i can trade them right away well we'll see if we can um oladipo oh we can we can't trade them out right away because it i guess it counts as them being on contract let's just offer see what we get for some of these guys oladipo gordon payton Maybe come up with something nice, another 80 rated player, we'll see. There's definitely some interesting offers in here, like this one, Derek Favors could automatically start, he's an 85 overall, better than a 76, yes, three stars and a half, 
But uh, then we also get a backup center in Rudy Gobert for Alfred Payton. We have two guards on the team already. Avery Bradley's kind of interesting, but we don't need to give away two of them for that. Uh, Kevin Love is interesting, but that would only give us like 16 to 18 million in cap space. Uh, obviously, if we take out Tristan Thompson. So I'm going to go see what I can sign in free agency. Uh, we'll still have him uh, for trading purposes. Victor Oladipo, same. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what we can come up with with um i think we should at least make the playoffs and we should have a solid team because these guys if i sign starters and these guys are coming off the bench to say uh aaron gordon alfred payton alfred payton's probably gonna be traded not gonna lie but if aaron gordon's coming off the bench i have no problem with that the dude could just come in and do his best 23 minutes 9.6 yeah if he does that off the bench i'm happy all right right now it's not looking the greatest eric bledsoe goes down one in the off season deandre jordan our best player i can't i don't know i don't know how great we're gonna be we have victor oladipo we have brandon knight great sixth man that's what i like and we have a lot of players that do a lot in like in their roles brandon knight great sixth man batum is a great small forward in the sense that he does a little bit of everything the dude could score the dude could pass the dude could rebound he gets great stats in 2k so that's what i like about him we, we signed evan fournier back uh, we had his uh, free agent rights, so whoever signed him, we could accept the qualifying offer or whatever. We could bring him back no matter what, and we did. We signed Joakim Noah on a $5 million contract for, for two years. J uh, Jamal Crawford also comes to the team. Alfred Payton stays. N uh, Nene, minimum contract. That's what we have right now. We're going to have to pull some trades before this season starts, especially with some of these guys, and see if we can come up with a very, very solid starting five. All right, going to take this one. Victor Oladipo, Alfred Payton. We already have Brandon Knight, Eric Bledsoe. Uh, Victor Oladipo, we have, who else? We have Evan Fournier, and we have Jamal Crawford off the bench. We're going to have uh, a struggle on the defensive end, but I'm going to go and get Nikola Jokic, Kenneth Fareed. This was in the trade finder. Kenneth could start at power forward if the coach wants him to uh, ahead of Aaron Gordon. Nikola Jokic, I'm probably going to make a power forward. I know he doesn't play that position. I know he's, he's very tall for that, but I mean, he brings the ball up the court sometimes. The man is skilled enough to play the power forward position in the league. He might be a little bit slow but he can do it all right guys took off the trade restriction or the recently signed trade restrictions i need i need help at shooting guard i don't know evan fournier i just don't i don't trust him with his defense his scoring yeah he could score he can shoot aaron gordon we have enough big men on the team now that he's he's he he doesn't matter to the team he's still young He's got nice upside, but a nice defensive player in Avery Bradley would be nice. And then another defensive player in Marcus Smart will run him at shooting guard as well so he could back up Avery Bradley. We need defense. Uh, they're not going to take it. We're going to throw in a first rounder. They like what they have, and it looks like it's not going to go through. Evan Fournier for Chris Middleton straight up. I would gladly take this one. Give him a second rounder, please. Oh, my God. I'm throwing in the first rounder. I like Chris Middleton better than Evan Fournier. Uh, he's a little bit better as well, so we're going to take it. He has a uh, better defense in my opinion. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. We had to give him both the picks. We got Chris Middleton, though. I like it better than what we we had Bledsoe right now Middleton Batum Jokic Jordan and then our bench it, our bench is actually ridiculous because they all do great at their own thing Kenneth Fareed for example rebounding monster put back monster Brandon Knight he's always seems to get six man of the year obviously he's gonna a little bit less minutes off the bench but the guy's a beast Aaron Gordon we're probably gonna trade for a backup shooting guard and then uh Joakim Noah you know he's gonna come in and rebound and he's gonna come in and give those nice sweet passes because his defense and his rebounding still great five million a year we'll take that you know what i'll actually take a backup small forward out of porter could play small forward power forward according to this so i'm gonna take it obviously we it's less value jamichael green doesn't matter uh salad doesn't matter they're not gonna be getting minutes but auto porter back up our boy um nicholas batum and we should be ready to go our chemistry is trash so i mean we have a deep team Bledsoe at the one, Middleton at the two, Batum at the three, Jokic four, Jordan five, and then Fareed, the first one off of the bench. I might give him a little bit less minutes than 30 because he, he produces in like 20, 20, 25. In 25 minutes, he almost gets a double-double, so we'll probably lower it to there. 
because we do need the better start the better players uh playing we should make the playoffs how far we go into that that's a different story i'm gonna change these minutes around but then i'll see you guys at the end of the season hopefully Hopefully making it deep into the playoffs in one year with the match at the end of the season Damian Lillard wins the most that that's I don't know how I don't know why or how he won it he played five more minutes than his career three more minutes than his career average I guess now but he played 40 minutes a game 10 assists good I don't I don't I don't know why I don't know if they finished first in the Western Conference or what but Ben Simmons rookie of the year Zach Levine six man of the year Paul Millsap defensive player Kia most improved goes to D'Angelo wait who won six man what who do they have starting who do they what I want to coach of the year goes to us though I created one of the best teams ever created into like what a bunch of 80 rated players the highest rated is probably an 85 in deandre jordan and we are 65 and 17 the best team in multiple areas in this league we allow the least amount of points we are the best differential i don't i don't know i don't know how i did it but i did it and we are legit title contenders lebron james is on the heat i don't know where they finished hopefully we don't have to worry about them and he gets knocked out did i miss somebody i don't think i missed anybody but we have a great defensive team the best rebounding team in the league the second best in like assist per game and we're top five in blocks and we're just great we're <laughs> legitimately great Golden State finishes first 57 we finish with the best record in the entire league I know quite a lot of you don't like the one year thing but to me it's just an extra challenge on myself and and this this is like the best team I put together in one year not the best uh players overall that I've put together in one year but what look how many players are scoring over 10 points one two three four five six seven seven players over 10 points Bledsoe leading the way 6.8 assist one of the better passing teams in the entire NBA Bledsoe Batum uh Brandon Knight Middleton Joakim Noah Jokic they all pass the ball well steals we're stealing the ball quite a bit blocks we're also stealing I mean blocking the ball quite a bit not not nothing crazy but enough to be like top five or something in the entire NBA. These are our strengths and our weaknesses. Rebounding, post defense, offensive IQ, blocks, defensive IQ, and steals. So everything in the in the defensive department is our strength besides the offensive IQ, which allows us to overcome the creating our own shot weakness, mid-range scoring, low post offense, three point. So it says our scoring is weakness is a weakness but we're we're we have the best differential like the top the top scoring team in the in the eastern conference not, there's a lot there's quite a few in the western conference that scored quite a bit but and i am not gonna lie to you guys but when i saw this when the season started just like this with our low chemistry i thought i created some 82 and 0 team and now it is time to go against the Chicago Bulls, I do not care about their strengths. I want to see who they have on their team. Probably still Derrick Rose. They got Jimmy Butler, Quincy Pondexter, Bobby Portis, Maurice Bates, Taj. We have the deeper team. We have the better team. We should be able to take care of them since our defense is great. That's all that really matters. You have a great defensive team and your offense is decent. Having a great IQ. Now we're up against LeBron. This is kind of scary, but we should be able to take care of him as well, especially with the huge, huge roster that we have. Not in in one individual player, but in in just 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 top to bottom. Everybody that plays can be a starter, which is the greatest. Ooh, the Cavaliers are about to beat us, though. No, they're not. They have some stars. They got Kyrie. They got Kevin Love, but they got to rely on them. They don't have LeBron, and we make it to the NBA Finals against the Golden State Warriors. I'm going to go see our playoff statistics, then we'll get right back to this. Bledsoe stepping it up in the points per game department, a little bit in the blocks, and then just a little bit lower here, but he's scoring a lot more on a higher efficiency, so that that's, that's tight. That's tight. Batum, same thing. Up against the mighty Warriors, you know who they already have. Curry, Clay, Barnes, Draymond, and Gasol. Uh, usually in these offseason ones, Kevin Durant stays with the Oklahoma City Thunder. They have a solid team, but somehow they've lost seven in these playoffs. They went seven games in their first two rounds. They somehow went 4-1 against their best opponent, and we've only lost two, so we are on a roll. We should be able to take care of them. We do take game one, game two, game three oh my i've created the best team ever 
ever. Oh my god, we're about to choke though. Watch watch us choke. Watch Listen, us choke. Simulate with Simcast. Yeah. Yes. We're about to give up a 3-0 lead. 3-0 lead. Give less minutes to Porter. Porter. Porter is not doing well or something. I don't know what's going on with this man. Give him a few less minutes. Give them to two no we'll give them to yeah point guard shooting guard they need more minutes to guard uh these main men and we're gonna play limit perimeter shots that's what you need to do against these warriors simulate game do we go what out the gate we destroy them do they adjust now or do we just just we we got mad we got mad that we almost gave up this this 3-0 lead so we demolished them in the fourth game literally not dropping one not one we dropped one we didn't even dr i've created the best magic team ever in the land of evers like what batum's 24 get batum on your team if you're making a rebuild let's go see who wins the finals mvp award i'm guessing it's gonna be bledsoe or batum and it is Eric Bledsoe, 20 points in the final, 7 assists, 2 steals a game, 1.4 blocks a game, 53% from the field. So nobody could really stop the man from scoring 20 points when he wanted to score 20 points. That's 65 and 17. From our point guard to our ninth man, even further than that, because we had Jamal and Nene who could still give us solid minutes, but from our one to number nine, they all contributed nicely. That's what I planned on doing, and that's what happened. 65 and 17, championship, 95% chemistry, best, best, probably the best rebuild I've done, especially in one year. If you enjoyed it, make sure to drop a like, make sure to drop a comment down below what you thought about it. This blows my mind. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, and as always, guys. Thanks for watching.